We journey now to a rarefied realm in the universe of high fashion and advertising. Susan Copen of The Early Show introduces us to some models who work with their hands, and only with their hands. Fashion runways are filled with models who've won the genetic lottery. That rarefied beauty prized by magazine editors and advertisers. But it turns out no one's got it all. The secret to better hair color? Not even a beautiful actress like Sarah Jessica Parker. That's Sarah Jessica, but look closely. That's not her hand. It belongs to one of the most successful hand models in the country. I like to say that my hands look good naked. Ellen Surratt. I am the supermodel of hands because my hands are flawless. For the past 15 years, Ellen's hands have been the queen of the close-up. Sometimes a hand double for celebrities, but mostly playing best supporting actress to an endless array of products. I'm not a hand that will take your attention away from something else. I'm just a hand that will will fit in. I am the hand next door. Well, advertising's idea of the hand next door. Beautiful. Not every hand looks like this. Why are your hands so perfect? Right. They are really just the perfect, neutral toned hands. You know, the skin tone of most people is not something that you'd want to see up close at all. There's, there's freckles, there's age spots, there's capillaries. Now, are people allowed to touch your hands? You, Susan, <laughs> I trust you. I just want to feel how soft they are. Very, very gentle. Okay, so how, is there I think a I would proper touch way this to touch? Part just with your fingertip. Okay. Oh, they're very soft. These are the softest hands. They're the softest the hands you're ever going to feel. Definitely. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Hold, hold. Can I ask you how much you make doing this? <laughs> well, I can make anywhere from $100 an hour to thousands of dollars for an hour. Like Betty Grable, who once took out a million-dollar policy on her legs, Ellen has hand insurance. To maintain perfection, Ellen's life is filled with no's. No cooking, no cleaning, no taking out the garbage, no opening cans, no opening windows, no opening doors, no gardening, no sports, you know, no, 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 a million no's. Got it? So people have to look at you funny when you're walking down the street. Right. I get all sorts of crazy looks. People think I'm crazy, mostly. That's the first reaction <laughs> I get. Sure. So you wear gloves every single day. I wear gloves every day, all day. So I have multitude of gloves. All right, so you keep all your gloves in here. All my secret stash of gloves. By her count, nearly 500 pairs. So we have the dark color. Dark color. And we have sort of the mid-range. We have the blues and the greens. Okay. Ellen's home is a world where her daughter Lana buckles her shoes. Can you do that? And her husband Peter does all the chores. Without complaint. Yeah, what was it like to, well, to date her at the very beginning? A little bit cooler, but, uh, <laughs> but she was, you know, beautiful and I was in love, so. Aww. Can you bring left hand back? I want the rolling pin to rotate counterclockwise. A little more, a little more. Being a successful hand model means more than having pretty hands. Today, Ellen's working on a cookbook. She holds long poses. Then she drains. Because I'm down, all the blood's going into my hands. I'll come up between because then it'll um, take the blood out of my hands. So anytime you're over, you try to drain in between. <laughs> it's over and drain and over and drain. Photographer Peter Piopo says Ellen's a performer. It's kind of hard to tell a hand to be more emotional, but she somehow has figured out that how to make a hand a little prettier, a little happier, a little, little more aggressive. Every hand supermodel has a niche, and Ellen's known in the industry for her perfect mommy hands. For glamour, advertisers turn to Christina Ambers. Well, I have the beauty hands, so I do, you know, mostly cosmetics and jewelry. Ellen serves dinner. Christina wears diamonds. 
In the subtle world of close-up photography, Christina's God-given gift is a broad nail bed, perfect for nail polish. When you're doing like nail art type of stuff, you need kind of like a big canvas. So with the big nails, it kind of helps. And, and while Ellen makes her living off her hands, for Christina... I'd say probably 75% is with the hands, but you know, I'm expanding. You know, I do feet and I do legs and I've expanded to eyes and lips too. That's right. There are models for practically every body part, each with its own rigorous requirements. But the money's in hands. On this day, it's a shoot for Target. Yeah. Christina's careful with her hands, but she's nothing like Ellen. She even has a cactus collection. <laughs> I'm single in Manhattan, and I'm looking for a husband, so I can't do that glove thing. <laughs> Ellen's married, so she can do it. <laughs> and though you'd think being a hand model would be quite a conversation starter, Christina keeps it to herself. Because it's all always, oh, you're a hand model? Like George on Seinfeld? Extraordinary. Have you ever done any hand modeling? <laughs> hand modeling? Of course, every hand model knows the famous Seinfeld episode in which George Costanza's modeling career is cut tragically short. Grabbing the iron at the end, better him than me. <laughs> Leland Schwantes is a legendary real-life male hand model. In fact, he actually played Jason Alexander's hands in a KFC commercial. Leland's been hand modeling for 30 years, with a career that even had a big break as a talking hand for Ivory Liquid. That was way back in 72. Yeah, and didn't she do the hula? In the contest, <laughs> yeah, but she never had the hands for it. No? No, but you sure do. Mm. Yours and that sort of put me on the map. People actually started calling up, well, you know, who was that guy and that girl who were doing this hands and stuff? Hand stardom followed. Find me an outstanding coffee. With commercial well, nice after commercial. One taste of country crock and she melts like butter. <laughs> and while it's a safe guess that it's a younger hand holding this iPhone, Leland at 61 still makes his living off his hands, earning $1,000 a day making commercials. If you're going to do television, there's so many things you have to be able to do. It's all about movement. Precise, graceful movements. Breaking a cookie just so. Yeah. Squeezing ketchup on a hot dog. Repeated over and over on a set as crowded and tense as an operating theater. Director Michael Samaroff. It's not just his having very attractive hands, but really what makes the difference is Leland's ability to perform like any star. How Take squeezing a lemon. If you don't know how to do it right, all the juice runs down your thumb instead of running out over the food. Or sliding a plate. You know, just making it smooth, trying to make it graceful. If in fact a plate can be graceful, <laughs> that's what we're trying to do. Graceful plates. Graceful gestures. The hand next door. The ultimate nail. Talk about a winning hand.